Dr. Sanjeev. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Sanjeev Goyal, and you're listening to another edition of my Go Live Peak Human webinars. And today I want to talk about uh, the use of oral minoxidil for um, basically hair loss, female pattern hair loss is specifically what we're talking about today. But there's a study that came out that I thought was really interesting. And I wanted to first maybe take a little bit of background on why I think this is so interesting and why this is useful information. So I get a lot of people coming into me asking me about what they what they can do for hair loss and men and women. Um, surprisingly, a lot of women come in for this for this concern. Um, we do have a couple of medications, but they, they're not that successful. Um, traditionally, one of the medications has been the use of something called Rogaine, which is minoxidil. And minoxidil was a blood pressure medication, you know, was first uh, discovered, you know, about 30, 40 years ago. Uh, and what they found was that it helped with lowering blood pressure, maybe not the best type of blood pressure pill, but it also brought, seemed to cause um, the, the patients to actually increase their hair growth. Um, and the reason that um, uh, it wasn't given orally for hair growth is that people also grew hair where they didn't want to grow hair, so on their face and things, things like that. So uh, in the doses it was being used for blood pressure, it was also causing like facial hair growth, which is definitely a concern, or on the arms or legs. Um, <clears throat> so for that reason, uh, it, it moved on to a topical application. So traditionally the use of minoxidil has been topical and you could buy at the pharmacy, you know, for four, five percent, six percent, up to 8%, you get a compounded of minoxidil. But the problem has been with this medication is that it's just not easy to use. Um, you have to put it on every single day. Uh, it has kind of a greasy film. People don't like the way it feels in their hair. Um, and for that reason, it's really you know not really used that much. And people move on, are moving on to other types of medications like DHT blockers. But this study, I think points to a way of giving minoxidil that's effective and without much side effects. Um, and so I want to talk to you about that, this, uh, this study. So it basically it's a study uh, published in 2020. Uh, the author is um, Rodriguez Barrada, and uh, it's the title is Low Dose Oral Minoxidil for Female Pattern Hair Loss, a Unicenter Descriptive Study of 148 Women. So basically what they did was it took women with female pattern hair loss, uh, people who were unresponsive uh, to the current treatment they were on, and they added uh, oral minoxidil. So like I said, the dose of minoxidil for blood pressure was something in the range of five or 10 milligrams a day. But here they only gave 0 0.25 milligrams to two milligrams with a mean dose of one milligram. And so, um, the mean age of uh, the study participants was 47 years of age, uh, but there was a wide range of age all the way from age 17 to 85. And um, so basically the, the women uh, kept the treatment they were on. Some women were on no treatment, uh, a small number of them, um, 23 patients out of the 148 received monotherapy, low dose oral minoxidil, the rest were on some type of combo. But the results were pretty surprising. So basically, uh, 30 patients showed stabilization of their alopecia. That's 20%. 118 showed clinical improvement. And of these, 95 patients or 60% showed slight improvement and 23 patients or 15% showed marked improvement. Um, the way they did this was uh, three independent dermatologists looked at this, they took photos, and all three of them had to agree uh, that there was improvement for the patient to classify as improvement. <clears throat> they did not have any side effects. Uh, the women did not notice any hair growth issues, because that would definitely be an issue. There was really uh, no side effects that they noted, no blood pressure issues. and. Um, a number of them were on a whole bunch of other different uh, therapies. But the important thing to realize here is that they were not noticing any improvement um, before getting to the study for at least a year. So what that is saying 
is that the oral minoxidil likely made the impact here. But again, we need more studies. But uh, what I would say here is that if you're considering uh, what type of treatment you can do if you're losing hair, especially for women on this study, um, and you've tried the other things on the market, such as, you know, PRP, um, the DHT blockers such as deuteracide or, uh, or uh, Propecia or Espronolactone or low light therapy, if you tried all of those things and they haven't really brought you the results, I think the study shows that low dose oral minoxidil seems like a good option and uh, worth it, definitely a try. So um, that's it for me today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day today and we'll talk to you soon.